And then finally, kind of last kind of major area to focus on and think about is mobile commerce. While the whole mobile advertising ecosystem is tricky with SMS and you know, different ad units and thinking about the various app stores and what you do in, in social platforms and so forth, that's, that's obviously tricky and you know, kind of work through that. Mobile commerce is another area to start to think about the transactional side of all of this. So over and over the advertising side of it, if you have uh, clients where there's the possibility for them to seek new revenue channels via mobile or certainly to supplement existing revenue channels and grab new transactions via mobile, again, some new things to think about. For instance, to be able to, uh, location-based services, being able to uh, tap into uh, an audience and being able to sell them or offer them goods and being able to not only help consumers find deals and offers in that area, but also to be able to complete uh, transactions. You've got apps like Shop Savvy, and there's a number of them out there which allow you to go into any store and scan and look for uh, similar products in your area and get it e even down to the price, right? So I can go into Best Buy, scan the ticket, and then go see if it's cheaper somewhere else or where is this product available. So now you've got this concept of this online price comparison that you can do real time, right? You don't have to go to the store, go home, do some research, come back. Now you can do it right in the store. And that leads to some interesting behaviors and interesting trends. Things like Groupon. Groupon has the iPhone app, being able to get these deals in you know, real time. And if you have you know, clients and brands that want to tap into this whole social coupon shopping experience, Groupon being one of them, you know, Living Social, Level Up, I think there's going to be about 80 more of these coming out um, in the coming, uh, coming year. So now you've got this whole kind of discounted offers to drive real-time traffic uh, to retailers. That becomes part of it. And then ultimately, you know, doing things like purchasing, in this case, electronic goods. But if you look at um, some trends, uh, always look to, when you think about mobile commerce, always look to uh, Asia and look at Japan and look at the kinds of things that are actually being purchased via these mobile devices. And I'll talk about um, the concept of near-field communications in a second here. But you can see what uh, Japan is doing. This is in, from 2010. And the kinds of things that uh, people are buying via mobile devices. So they're doing transactions in retail stores, vending machines, public transportation, grocery stores, restaurants. So a lot of dollars, in this case yen, flowing through these devices. And I think that's something you're going to see in this country in the coming years. And beyond physical goods, there's also the, the purchase of virtual goods. And it's just an example, my town. And the, the whole point here as a brand, what you're able to do is now not only maybe buy you know, physical goods, but it's this whole kind of gaming and acquiring point. So if you scan something or you want to, um, in an app store, interact with that brand, you begin to look at this, this concept of, of virtual currency that you can then redeem for goods and services later. So think about point systems and think about, you know, like airlines and hotels and things like that. Brands are starting to get into this whole game because as you interact with them, maybe you're not buying something at that point in time, but you can certainly begin to do things like uh, accumulate points and use that as a redemption uh, later on down the line. So you know, that's a little bit on mobile commerce. I think mobile commerce is going to be huge. I think we're just, you know, in two years, I think we're not going to believe the kinds of things you're going to be able to buy on mobile devices. And, the fact that you're going to be able to use that mobile device for uh, you know, pretty much purchasing uh, of most things.